Hello, welcome in this video tutorial about Volvo Connect. In this video, I'm going to show you how you install the Volvo Connect app on your smartphone. In this video, I use an iOS device, an Apple iPhone. The first step is you go to the App Store. There you search for the app called Volvo, Volvo Connect. Here you can see the app. I have downloaded the app before, that's why I see a cloud here, otherwise you see install, you press install, and the app will be downloaded on your device. Here you already can see some images of the app, how it will look like when you have the app installed. Okay, the app is downloaded, you press open. The app is requesting access for sent notifications, we say allow. And now you need to have a personal login to be able to sign in into the app. If you do not have one, then you press request access. In this form, you fill in your first name, you fill in your last name, and you fill in your phone number. Then you fill in your email address and your personal email address will be the email address where you, which allows you to sign in into the portal. So it's your username as well in the future. Let me make sure I type it all right. And then, very important, you need to know who can provide access to you. So in this case, you need to fill in the email address of your colleague. Uh, for example, the user administrator, the fleet manager, someone who can create a Volvo Connect account for you. That person will receive an email with your request for access and is able to generate an account for you. So now I filled in uh, my personal details, my first name, my last name, my phone number, my email address. That email address will be my username in Volvo Connect. And I filled in the fleet contact email, which is the person who can create an account for me. Then I press request access. The email template is opened with the information which we just filled in and you press send. The request is sent and we will receive an email in our inbox as soon as we are invited to join Volvo Connect via the app. Until that time we can use the demo functionality to learn about the app so we can press start the demo. We can have a look around how the app uh, looks like how it works. So we see different kind of information. Here we can send the message. And if you would like to leave the demo functionality, you press in the most right icon and you say leave demo. That's it for now. When we have received the email, we will continue this video. Thank you very much for watching and please also have a look at our other tutorials.